Question 12. There are 392 moles of pure gold. So why have they given me moles of gold? Well, I could work out the MR of gold and work out from moles in MR. I could work out the mass of the gold. In a bar measuring 10 by 10 by 40, why have they given me a length and a width and a height or three dimensions of a bar of gold? Clearly they want me to multiply height by width by uh, length to work out the volume. So now I've got the mass of the gold, I've got the volume of the gold, and density is mass divided by volume, and I can work out the density. Right, let's have a look then. So, uh, volume of the bar is 10 multiplied by 10 multiplied by 40. It's 4,000 centimetre cubed. Now here it says it wants in grams per de kilograms per decimetre cubed. So to get centimetre cubed into decimetre cubed, up into a larger unit value, I've got to divide by a thousand. Four thousand divided by a thousand is four decimeter cubed. Looking on the periodic table, the MR of gold is 197. Moles is mass divided by MR. So moles is 392 moles. It tells me in the question is the mass divided by 197. So the mass of these two numbers multiplied together, 392 times multiplied by 197, 77224 grams. Now it wants in kilograms per decimeter cube. So we've got to get this into kilograms. So to get grams into a larger unit value of kilograms, I divide by a thousand. 77224 divided by a thousand is 77.224 kilograms. Density is mass divided by volume. So my mass is 77.224 divided by my volume of 4 decimeter cubed, 19.3. The answer is B. The ions of the two isotopes of iron are as follows. Which statement is correct? Well, first of all, isotopes have different numbers of um, the isotopes have different numbers of electrons. They don't normally, but they've got different charges. So the charge refers to the number of electrons that have lost have been lost. And so since they've got different charges, they've lost different numbers of electrons. The two Fe atoms before they've been become charged ions and lost electrons did have the same number of electrons and the same number of protons. Different numbers of neutrons because the mass number is different. That's what isotopes are. They've got different numbers of neutrons because, um, uh, the, and, the, and that's why the mass numbers change. But the number of protons and electrons are the same unless they become ions and lost electrons. And since they're two different charged ions, they've lost different numbers of electrons. And so the electrons aren't the same and so the electronic configuration is not going to be the same. Um, the ions both have isotopes containing 26 neutrons. No, they've got different mass numbers. That's what isotopes are. They've got different mass numbers because they've got different numbers of neutrons. Um, then the one has got fewer protons than the other. No, they've got the same number of protons. They've got different numbers of neutrons, hence different mass numbers. They've got different numbers of electrons because they've got different charges. They had the same number of electrons to start off with, but got different charges, so lost different uh, numbers of uh, electrons. But the number of protons has stayed the same. They're the same element, the same um, thing, Fe and Fe. They're both element Fe with the same proton number. So C is wrong. D must be right. After acceleration, the same kinetic energy. This iron moves more slow than this one. Well, the heavier iron moves more slowly. Uh, that's the nature of it. Heavy, the heavier it is, the more slowly it moves. So D is correct.